Now, what might be more apparent, and I think what I really want to apply this to is the world feels pretty upside down right now. Like, yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, like I've got a favorite saying lately um, in the little village we live in, which is El Mundo es loco. <laughs> the world is a little bit crazy. It's right? not a cabeza, it's upside down. See, it's upside down. So as the world is kind of upside down, there's a lot going on with all kinds of right. craziness. And I like to focus on how to be the calm in the center of that hurricane, how to be that bubble of peace, of oneness, of presence in that turmoil. And not only is it possible, it's wonderful. Yes. <laughs> it's awesome. And what's really important is we need to become aware of what are we focusing on? Are we focusing on the chaos? Do we have fear inside of us because of it? Are we a little uncomfortable about what could be going on? Um, and those are the things that do tend to run the show. It's those things that are under the surface. So it's really important as we feel like we call them uncomfy Ks, uncomfortable kinesthetics, as we feel things under the surface, we want to be sure to acknowledge those and cancel, release, and let those go. As we right. cancel, release, and let those go, we can say, instead of saying, I'm going to focus on this chaos, I'm going to focus on this challenge, I'm going to focus on what might happen, instead, I'm going to focus on seeing a better world emerging from this. And some might say that, oh, that's irresponsible. You know, what would you say to that? Well, I would say that you're, you're, we think that our past is unmovable, and, but it's actually our perception of the past that can be changed. We also think that what's outside of this is unmovable. We think right, it's right. really That's true. out there. That's true. We don't think that it is being created by the resonance inside of us and us a collective. Right. But what I was getting at was that that feeling that you get that when, when you say, I want to do X, Y, or Z, and you get a something feeling, you can actually follow that feeling to its source. Um, constellation work does that it, it's really well and it's it's showing up in your body so you can focus on where that is where it is really get into the feeling allow yourself in a safe place to feel that feeling and then ask yourself when's the first time i felt that and you will get this video go through your mind and zip like a like a like a fishing line will take you right to the first time and you get the exact image and what you can do in the present is observe yourself there see what the situation was from your present knowledge now, from the wisdom that you hold now. And maybe mom, dad, teacher, minister was having a bad lifetime that day. And you can go, hey, they didn't really mean it, but I took it on myself and it's still here. And you know what? I, I don't need to take that on. I can release that from that little child. I can love that little child now, bring him with me and we can be healed together. And now I don't have that past hurt. So we can change the past, but we're really changing our perception of our past in a whole new way. And so what, is, what it seems to be truth isn't true anymore. And what was true or what wasn't true can be true. So, you know, we can change our exterior by changing ourselves. And that's really the whole point. We can't change the exterior, but we can change ourselves. Through, through our hearts. Well, and the truth is, when we change ourselves, the exterior changes. That's right. And that we really have to know that. It's a, it's a whole new education process um, that as we change ourselves on the inside, literally the outside changes. This is why the monks went and sat in the cave and meditated, because they knew that sending peace into the world from a state of peace would help bring about peace. And the more of us who can get this right now, the more we can be sending from that breathing, smiling state, from our heart of love, the more we can be sending those things into the world. I see my children joyful. I see us having free healthcare choices. I see us, and I have people write me, just to mention also, we've had a lot of censoring going on lately. And I will oh, right. say, you know, okay, I have that in my unconscious and I'm resonating that in my world. Um, I'm finding that I'm having to dance around what I can actually say because 
there's a lot of shutting down going on, but I just choose to stay in the place where I can see an open path. And for instance, on my um, 21st Century Superhuman group on Facebook now, I can't ever see more than one or two posts at the top. Like I used to be able to go and monitor what was on that page. Mm -hmm. Now it's just not even visible. It hasn't been for weeks. And, Amazing. Um, yeah. And, and um, so it's interesting. And yet I just keep going inside and saying, how do I dance with this? How do I dance? How do I see it as we're going to move through this? We are going through the mm -hmm. great shift of the agents. Mm -hmm. We are going through the great awakening. Yes. And many minds are waking up. Yes. Many hearts are waking up. And so we have this sort of like chaotic resonance going on in the collective, a really neat image that I love. Well, we're going through, we're going through the great remodel. We you know, are. This is, yeah. this is the big remodel of the earth. And I sometimes mean, when there's a remodel, there's dust, the same. There's, there's, dust there's dust, there's, you find stuff behind walls it's that's been there for years, the things surfacing that you had no idea were in those dark, deep, wet, nasty places. Right. And you got to get them out. Sometimes the, the, the woods rotted and you need to clear it out and it's messy. And that's what we're going through now. But that's because we're going through the great, like you say, the great shift of the ages, but we're coming out of that galactic night. Yes. And we're coming into the galactic day. And just assuredly, as day follows night, this is happening. This is occurring. We're seeing it in front of us. But if you look at the turmoil, you're looking at the rotten wood. And some people have that job of tearing out the rotten wood, uh, taking care of the cockroaches, and other people um, are doing something else. You're, you're, you're cleaning out some other closet, you're sweeping. Uh, other people are up in the top of the tower holding the frequency of the new house, of the new earth. And we each have our job, we each have our puzzle piece. So the main thing is to do our puzzle piece and to be ourselves and follow our hearts. And it's gonna be new. And there's gonna be rocks in your backpack. There's going to be things that you find that you don't like. There's going to be things that, that are old programs that you need to learn how to, how to clear up. And that's the whole purpose of, of right now. Living a purpose, cleaning out your backpack. <laughs> and I think we need to be able to look at each person as being on their own perfect journey. You know, instead of looking at each other and going, oh, why are you there? Or to be critical of each other. Instead, Let's look at each other and see that each person is in their own perfect, divinely unfolding process. And wherever they are, whatever they're focused upon, and in a way, they are us. I am the 21st century superhuman, and I know that the answers are inside.